Pre-calculus topic eight, practice assessment. This is the third problem on the back, and we're supposed to find all the exact zeros of this. And we're given this little piece of the graph, and so I notice it has a zero at three, and it's repeated zero. It, it has a, that has a multiplicity of at least two, so it happens twice. So I know that this will uh, have an x plus three and another. Oh, I'm sorry, x minus three, and another x minus three as factors of it. So let's divide them out and see what we can do. So I'm going to have 3 go into 1x to the 4th, minus 14x cubed, 122x squared, negative 462x is 585. So I'll keep going from here. Uh, bring down, multiply. Oops, bring down, multiply, add, multiply. And then uh, let's see, 122 minus 33 is 89. Multiply that by 3. 267, subtract 462 from that, negative 195, multiply that by 3 is negative 585. <clears throat> so I've taken out one of the threes, let me take out the other one. So I'll do it again. 1, uh, 3, negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8, multiply that by 3, negative 24, add that to 89. 65 multiply by 3, 195. <clears throat> that gives me a 0. So I factor out x minus 3 twice, and I was left with an x squared minus 8x plus 65. So I could try and factor that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I can't factor it. So I'm going to use quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So I've got 8 plus or minus over 2 square root of 64. And let's see, 4 times 65 is uh, 260. So 64 minus 260. We'll keep going from there. That is 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 196 over 2, which this is a 14i. So I have 8 plus or minus 14i over 2. These are both still divisible by 2, so that gives me a 4 and a 7. 4 plus or minus 7i. That's a funny plus or minus. So my answers are 3 and 4 plus or minus 7i. I don't need to list the 3 twice. So there it is.